Hey guys, how's it going? Mr Mitchell here. In this video, I'm going to go over some worked examples covering units, prefixes and scientific notation. Now, if you haven't already done so, check out my other video covering the theory on this topic and that might help you understand what we're doing here. And just before we get going, if you want to get the most out of this video, feel free to pause just before I show you the answers to each question and try them yourselves. Let's get started. As we try these questions, it's probably going to be helpful for you to have the table of prefixes open at the same time. So in question one, it says use scientific notation to convert the measurements to the units shown. In part A, we need to convert seven tera electron volts to electron volts. So remember the prefix tera from our table of prefixes is times 10 to the power of 12. So we're gonna replace the capital T with times 10 to the power of 12, which gives us seven times 10 to the power of 12 electron volts. Part B, 12 gigahertz to hertz. Remember giga is times 10 to the nine. So we get 12 times 10 to the nine hertz. Part C, 4.7 megawatts to watts. So remember mega is times 10 to the power of 6, so this becomes 4.7 times 10 to the 6 watts. Part D, 46 kilometers to meters. Remember kilo means times 10 to the power of 3, so we get 46 times 10 to the 3 meters. For part E, we've got 20 centimeters to meters. So remember centi is times 10 to the power of minus 2, so we get 20 times 10 to the minus 2 meters. Part F says 25 milliamps to amps, so remember milli is times 10 to the power of minus 3, which gives us 25 times 10 to the minus 3 amps. Part G is 300 microseconds to seconds, so remember micro is times 10 to the power of minus 6, so this becomes 300 times 10 to the minus 6 seconds. Part H is 630 nanometers to meters. Remember nano is times 10 to the power of minus 9, so we get 630 times 10 to the minus 9 meters. And lastly, part I, 2200 picofarads, converting to farads just becomes 2200 times 10 to the minus 12 farads. Moving on to the second question now, it says use scientific notation to convert the measurements to the units shown. So this time we're converting back into prefixes from normal units. So in part A, we've got 14 times 10 to the 12 electron volts. Well, remember, tera is times 10 to the 12, so this just becomes 14 tera electron volts. In part B, we've got 2.3 times 10 to the 7 watts to gigawatts. So remember, giga is times 10 to the power of 9. So we're going to need to move this decimal place two places to the left, and we get 0.023 gigawatts. Part C is 5.6 times 10 to the power of 8 hertz to megahertz. Remember, mega is times 10 to the power of 6. So I'm going to move the decimal point here two places to the right and I get 560 megahertz. In part D, we've got 14 times 10 to the 3 meters to kilometers. So remember, kilo is times 10 to the 3, so this just becomes 14 kilometers. In part E, we've got 0.09 meters to centimeters. Remember, centi is times 10 to the minus 2, so this is the same as 9 centimeters. Part F, 4.6 times 10 to the minus 3 volts to millivolts. Remember, milli is times 10 to the minus 3, so this just becomes 4.6 millivolts. Part G, 2.5 times 10 to the minus 5 amps to microamps. Remember, micro is times 10 to the minus 6, so I'm going to need to move this decimal point one place to the right, and this becomes 25 microamps. In part H, 4.50 times 10 to the minus 7 meters to nanometers. Remember, nano is times 10 to the minus 9, so if we move this decimal point two places to the right, then we can make this to the power of minus 9, and that becomes 450 nanometers. And then lastly, part I, 4.70 times 10 to the power of minus 9 farads to picofarads. Remember, pico is times 10 to the minus 12, so this becomes 4,700 picofarads. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it one of these and make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.